Here we are back at it again, Ben and Jason with Hamilton Tile, and today is our big coming out party. What's the purpose of this video is to implore Schluter Systems for some form of explanation as to these wicking problems they have, these waterproof questions everyone has, grassroots groundswell from the tile guys out here in the tile community, and today we're talking about a new method that we use to put together Schluter systems. Not really new, but very effective. And I have Jason, our technical wizard, our encyclopedia of tile, owner, lead installer of Hamilton Tile, 20 years in the business. Jason, how long have you been using uh, Schluter Systems products? Gosh, uh, at least 15 years. So it's been a while, very well versed in it. It's pretty much all we use. So yeah, we, uh, we know a lot, all the ins and outs of it. So what's the problem with the Schluter System products at this point? Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it a problem. The real problem is becoming the explanation of what we're seeing, or some people are seeing, because I've seen it before myself. Um, it doesn't happen all the time with the seam wicking, but it does happen sometimes. And the generic response is pretty much, don't worry about it. They're aware of it, it's just don't worry about it. It doesn't really sit well with most people, so, you know, we just decided instead of using thin set, we're going to start using 8 plus 9. And what is 8 plus 9? Uh, essentially, it's just a elastometric uh, cement. It's a waterproofing crack isolation cement, so you just use it to put it together. Um, all your seams and banding, and it pretty much solves the problem. Okay, and the problem is this wicking, and you can see it, um, Isaac Ostrom has done just a wide range of different videos uh, with different experiments showing what's happening, and at first we were, uh, we were, um, not skeptical. We were skeptical of his video. No, we weren't. Well, we were skeptical of Isaac's videos, and we were uh, op oppositional to that because we have been tried and true Schluter guys and because of his videos at this point we've diversified and now we're doing weedy and we're We've changed our ways a, a bit because as Jason said of the explanation uh, From Schluter, which is don't worry about it now generally tile guys are of the obsessive breed Gibbs Dibbs Sally 461 0092 How'd you know that? Said read the telephone book last night Dibbs Sally you don't tell obsessive people not to worry no, about something. Exactly. Oh, don't worry about what your eyes see. Don't worry about what your ears hear. Just trust the engineering. That's not a good enough explanation. And, oh. and, and the reality is, you know, it, this is probably something that the membrane does naturally sometimes. It's, you know, there's not probably technically nothing wrong with it because it's not meant to be submerged 24 hours. I get that, but we all know how much water a shower sees, so... I don't think it's really out of the realm to expect it to seems to be 100% waterproof. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's too much to really ask for. Because we all know what one drop of water that can get out of a shower and it gets stuck in the framing with our houses being so tight, it has nowhere to go. So I think it's, I think it's just time that we build a better mousetrap. And this is how they do it in, in, in Europe. In Europe. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that, then? I've heard worse. You liar! Come on, you pansy! My understanding, Ardex makes 8 plus... I mean, I know they make 8 plus 9, but they just repackage it and rebrand it for Schluter from everybody I've talked to. It's what I've got the gist from. Might be a little bit changes in the chemistry, but I don't think there's much. So they basically just repackage this as Curdy Cole. And you can go online and watch other Schluter UK videos, which I have done, and it's just you just put all your banding and connection points together with that and it's rated for submerged applications pretty much you can make a swimming pool out of it at that point so that's what that's what we're doing is we're putting together our curdy at this point with the 8 plus 9 at taking the place of the thin set and is honest that correct? yeah and, and honestly we're not we're not really bashing any one company it's not just Schluter they all make waterproof membranes and I've asked them all about seam wicking and the generic response is pretty much either don't worry about it or they don't even know they, they, they can't answer it, and they've tried calling their tech department and all that. Can't get a straight answer. I, mean, I know Isaac can't get a straight answer. There's a few other people on, uh, on, on like, Tile Geeks or whatever. Donnie's, Don, Donnie yep. of uh, D's Tile is doing experiments now. He's having the same problem. I think it's Building building by Justin or Building Guru Justin or something like that. He's He got the runaround from Schluter. We're just looking for an explanation. That's all it is. And the best example that I can tell any Schluter rep out there that might be watching this, any 
Schluter or anybody, is what happened to the most trusted name in news? CNN, okay? Used to be the trusted name in news. 90% of people in the country watched CNN. <coughs> What happened was there was this groundswell from underneath, the common folk, all the guys on YouTube, the alternative media people, were making news, right? And what happened? CNN never addressed those arguments from these people on YouTube, for example. They didn't uh, say, hey, this is, this, this is our, our viewpoint and this, and this is why it's better than yours. And they didn't, they didn't uh, hit them head on with we have a better argument than your argument. No, they just said, they just ignored them. They just ignored them to the point now where no one trusts CNN anymore. Nobody knows what to believe up or down. And yes, CNN may be a huge company, but you still have to address these issues or what's going to happen is the groundswell, the grassroots is going to continue to take bites out of you. And once you, you lose your credibility, Schluter, CNN, you can't get your people back. And that's basically what's happening. From what I'm seeing online, a lot of guys are going this route of the membrane with the uh, water with the waterproof uh, liquid on top of it. Schluter, don't be CNN. <laughs> Just address the problem. Give, give and an explanation, may, and, and then we'll go even, from there. And it may not even be a problem. It just may be a function of the memory and what it does sometimes. We don't know. It's like we're not privy to that, you know, that information on the technical side, and nobody really seems to want to answer it. But it's, it's not, not, and it's not just Schluter, because everybody's going to say, oh, you're just bashing, bashing. But no, it's, it, it's just, it's really, it's a bonded waterproof membrane thing. It's, it's, they all make, all the companies make them. It's not just one. You Can know, you just, talk? Schluter's just the most, I guess, uh, how do you want to say it? The biggest um, company. Yeah, the, well, the, big, well, the biggest company, the most recognizable. Yeah. You know. Can you talk about the TCNA standards for waterproof membranes? Because I know Isaac is. This is where, yeah, it. Isaac made a good point. You know, all these bonded waterproof membranes, only the membranes got an ANSI standard. The overlap for seams don't. So there's no standard for how much water that can and can't take, take on. So we're pretty much at the trust of the manufacturer to tell us, you know, that it works. And you know, obviously, there's been enough tests done that there is seen wicking at certain instances. You know, what causes it? Nobody, you know, we don't know. So, this is all people are looking for an explanation. I think that's that's nothing more, nothing less. I mean, obviously, the thin set method works enough. Otherwise, it'd have massive failures. So, you know, we just we're just looking to build a better mousetrap, and there's there's ways to do it. It's pretty easy. Yeah. So what does this do to the warranty, the Schluter warranty, would you say? Let's be upfront and honest with our customers well, with what this does with a manufacturer warranty. If you use all Ardex, all their setting materials, grout, silicones, and 8 plus 9, they pick up the warranty. But the reality is warranty only covers product failure. Everybody always, everybody thinks that these warranties cover your labor. No, they don't cover your labor. What they do cover is if there's a product failure, it cover, covers your labor to replace it. They don't, no, none of these companies will ever warranty your labor per se because you don't work for them. They don't have control over you. You're not an employee. So there is no way that they can warranty your labor. It's just, you know, they're basically, they're just feel good, uh, feel good piece of paper. You know, yeah. it just makes you feel good that there's just, you know, a warranty on it, you know. I mean, yeah, it's nice if a product fails and they have that warranty, but the reality is the warranty's on you. I mean, as much as you want to think it's not, you know, you're the one putting it together. You're the only variable. Product failures very rarely happen. I mean, they do happen. I mean, in almost 20 years of using Schluter, I've only gotten one roller curdy band that was bad. You know, that's it. But it does happen. So, so what I think is, Schluter, you have a PR nightmare on your on your hands, a public relations nightmare that's coming up from the bottom, from the grassroots, and I always see that you're. Your most solid customers, like Jason, 15 years using your product, are the ones that get ignored the most. I would just say, please don't ignore us. And as for our customers, we're going to build you something that's going to last with this method. This is the best. Would you say this is a? This is the this is the absolute best way to do it. I mean, there's there's no question asked, and there's a really simple solution. Schluter already makes this product, or they rebrand it. Just bring that over here, and it, you don't even have to change anything. You just bring it over. If people want to buy it, great. You know, if they want to use it to make it better, great. But they don't have to, you know, because a normal homeowner is not going to go that route, you know. So, yeah. So that is the solution. Bring over Curdy Coal and let us let us use it. I mean, what, why not? European standards. You can even market it. Hey, Schluter's doing European standards now. Great. Let's go. 
So this has been Jason with Hamilton Tile. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Comment with what you have going on. I'd really like to give a shout out to Isaac Osram of um, o Tile and or his YouTube channel Tile Coach. Check him out. This is this is a good example that you know one one guy can change a lot of minds with a YouTube channel and just being outspoken and showing the evidence. So thank you, Isaac. Thanks for watching. Ben and Jason Hamilton Tile. Over and out.